Hey guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. As you know, Apple released the beta version of iOS 5.0.1. I have it installed right here on my iPod Touch. As you can see right here, there it is, version 5.0.1. And I'm going to show you how to jailbreak this version of iOS with Red Snow. It's super easy, super simple. All you need is your original iOS 5 firmware. You need that because Red Snow has not been updated to work with the latest and greatest version of iOS 5.0.1. So I'm going to go ahead and put my iPod Touch in the DFU mode as I'm doing right here. All familiar functionality, all familiar procedure. So once it's in DFU mode, let's head over to iTunes. It'll notice that your phone or that your iPod Touch is in DFU mode or whatever device you're using. You want to locate that firmware, like I was saying, the 5.0 firmware. This is not 5.0.1. You will need the 5.0 firmware, the current public firm, firmware that Apple has released um, to the public. So you need that. Make sure you have that. Go ahead and open Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 7, and you need to go to Extras so you can specify that particular firmware. Select IPSW. Find your firmware, there it is, the 5.0 firmware for the iPod Touch or whatever device you're deciding to use. And once it's successfully identified, just click OK, go back, and then select Jailbreak. It'll go through and jailbreak your device. Super simple, super easy. Uh, select Install Cydia, you know, the same old procedure, and then go ahead and click Next. Um, and there's the enable battery percentage. If any of you all were wondering how to enable that battery percentage on the iPod Touch, there it is. Go ahead and click Next. It'll go ahead and do the normal exploiting with Lime Rain, uploading the first stage, etc., etc. And then pretty soon you'll see the iPod Touch light up. And I'm going to just speed this part up right now. Um, this is sped up significantly. Matrix mode. And of course, since that latest version of Red Snow was released, the um, moving bundles or the moving application no longer takes forever with the jailbreak. So there it is, the jailbroken iPod Touch. I need to, once again, do a tether boot because the Cydia logo is, of course, white. We need to do a tether boot. I'm going to do that now. All right, so just put the, the device back into DFU mode and head back over. You need to identify the firmware again the 5.0 firmware. So just identify that again, click OK, and then do a just boot, and then it will boot tethered your iPod Touch or your iPhone or whatever, your iPad, iPad 1. If you're using the iPad 1, it'll do that. There's my nice IDB boot logo. So like I was saying, it's super simple, super easy. That's how you jailbreak iOS 5.0.1.